Hi, I'm Catherine G, and I'm Head of People at Vivid. Hi, I'm Trevor Rawlings, HR Manager with Vivid, and I provide workforce information and insights to help us understand what's happening with our workforce. Vivid was formed in April 2017, following the merger of two housing associations. As with any newly merged organisation, we had lots to do. We had uh, service offerings and processes to align. We needed to embed new values and we knew that this would cause stress to some people. So we, we knew that that stress would manifest itself in, in low morale, leading to higher staff turnover and higher sickness absence levels. Putting the people at the heart of our decision making, we needed a high level strategy to combat the potential issues. So we took an evidence-based approach to this. We had to choose some key metrics to measure and manage as necessary. We collected that data from a variety of different systems, our HR system, our staff survey results, our benefits providers had systems that we, we took data from, and we analysed that in terms of, you know, what happened, when it happened, and who did it happen to, and if we could, to look at why it happened. After measuring and al analysing this data, you know, it's the actions that are taken as a result that creates the real strategic impact. The people initiatives, it's not the numbers on the spreadsheet, they've got no value until those insights are actually used to support a change and improvement. The analysis and the data were hugely helpful in allowing us to form a strategy that would um, help people and deal with the issues. Our strategy was about having um, adult to adult relationships, about saying it's okay not to always be okay, but we do want you to bring your whole self and to feel able to have those conversations with colleagues and with managers. We signed the Time to Change pledge uh, because we wanted to reduce stigma attached to poor mental health. And we had a, a number of colleagues come forward to be our stigma busters. So uh, these were people who had either struggled themselves with some mental health issues or had been close to people who had. We we trained managers in, in being confident enough to have those conversations and we reviewed our employee assistance offering. So the counselling and CBT um, came as standard. Uh, we put more information out there to help people with any financial difficulties they were having and we introduced a wellbeing app. Now this wellbeing app had a 70% take up from our staff. Uh, it offered 300 different programs uh, to help with different aspects of your life that you might be struggling with. Those, those three things together um, really did turn around uh, the mental well-being of our staff. Our people strategy impacted the trending pattern of our employee engagement, mental health sickness and voluntary labour turnover. We increased our employee engagement by 19 percentage points and we also saw mental health sickness fall for nine months consecutively, reducing by almost a half. At the same time, we saw our voluntary labour turnover reduce by four points, down from 14% down to just 98 Beyond the positive benefits to individual employees, these changes also had a huge impact on our costs, with less people being off sick and the reduced number of levers that we had to replace, and also the improved satisfaction in the workplace overall. We avoided over £100,000 in costs. Our approach of equipping people with the resilience and supportive tools to adapt to changes quickly has really stood us well over the last 12 months with people feeling more anxious because of COVID.